Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Today it's all about music reviews. Quick ones, just get right to the point, get in, get out, and that's it. First one up is this guy here, Miles Davis with the Quincy Jones Orchestra, big band. It's late in his career. He's not, his playing's not the best. You're into Miles and you have a lot of his other stuff, but you've never heard this, you're in for a treat. It's really, really good. Next up, King, Sonny, A Day. He's from Africa. This is African pop music. It's got a groove, it's a big band, lots of percussion, lots of depth. He plays an amazing guitar. He's very charismatic. If you're not into African pop music, this might be the way in. You gotta be open to things, right? So try this, easy to hear on uh, various streaming services. Easy to hear on a lot of streaming services. Give it a shot. Oh, and by the way, it sounds really, really good. It this is sort of an, it's a quasi audiophile recording. It was recorded with a special microphone. I think it really works. And uh, check it out. SMV. Three bass players, Stanley Clark, Marcus Miller, and Victor Wooten. Playing funk. Lots of funk. Deep funk. You feel it funk. It makes you want to move funk. It's a fun record. Not quite an audiophile record it's a little too compressed for my taste but uh, it gets the point across that's the main thing and th those guys are having a blast just riffing off each other you know this guy leon redbone this is a very early leon redbone record and he's a uh, he's a folk singer kind of a quirky uh, old-timey folk singer old timey in the good sense and he's he's funny he's almost like a character actor as a as a folk singer performer. He pulls the audience in. It's a live thing done for a radio station, I think. Actually, it's a few different places this was recorded in. His voice sounds great. His guitar sounds good. He's got a tuba on some tracks. It's, it's again, it's quirky folk. Give it a shot. Then there's Spoon, Ga 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 Ga. Great record. I, I, it's probably their best record. It was the one most people know. Not audiophile, but Good sounding record, good energy, a lot of energy. It's high energy record, great rhythm. This band definitely has a way with rhythm. That's that's the first thing that grabbed me about Spoon. They just kind of get into these grooves that kind of go on and on and on. And just, yeah, good stuff. Check out this one. John Mellencamp, this record is really bare bones production, actually done by T-Bone Burnett, who I'm not always on board with. I think his production it's a little too thick, too dark for me most of the time. But this record, I don't know. It's it's so minimal, he, he, he couldn't screw it up. And John Mellencamp is doing bluesy stuff, small band. And the connection there, you really feel like you're in the room. That was part of the idea of this recording. Some of it was done in a hotel room. And uh, it's a cool record. And I like hearing John Mellencamp that way without a lot of stuff going on in the production. It's just him, it's a couple of musicians, that's it. Speaking of stripped down, how about Eric Clapton unplugged? Now I'm not a huge Eric Clapton fan, but I do like this record. I used to demo with it when I was a hi-fi salesman because it does sound really good. And this is the special deluxe edition that has the, a DVD so you can see it because this was originally on MTV, it was MTV Unplugged. So it looks really good. He's he's really into it. Again, minimal production, mostly unplugged. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a fan and maybe you missed this one, check this one out. To finish up, this one. Yeah. Brian Eno, Apollo. It's one of his ambient recordings. It's deep. It's got space. It's, it is about ambience. And it's very abstract. It's, you don't even know half the time what the instruments are. They're just this kind of mush of sound. He's, he's a very sound-oriented producer, which is the reason I was attracted to him in the first place. But this recording is, I think, about 40 years old. And yet, it's still, it, it's one of those records, the more you hear it over time, over years, over decades, you just hear more and more stuff. Now, I was over at my friend Miguel's a few months ago, I made a video that I'll link to below, and he has a set of big uh, avant-garde acoustic horn speakers. 
and he's got this amazing uh, audio note on Gaku tube amplifier. And he, we played this, the CD, and wow. I've heard that recording hundreds of times. I never heard it sound like that because there was just so much more going on spatially, layers, textures, uh, very tiny dynamic shifts, larger dynamic shifts. Just so much that, you know, packed into this recording. You know, I'm pretty sure it was an analog recording in the first place. He didn't have the tools that people have today to make this kind of sound. He was doing it the old fashioned way, literally. And yet, and yet, all these decades on, there's so much more to hear. That's what makes it a great recording. And that's true for all of these. A lot, these are all mostly old recordings. And they all share that. Uh, that quality of depth, I mean depth meaning there's so much in there to hear over time. Every time you change your system from one speaker to the next, amplifier, cables, blah, 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 all that stuff, and you go back to certain recordings, these are the kind of recordings you're going to appreciate on a different, they're going to reach you in a different way as your system changes. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Right now, it's coming to about five days a week, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Uh, if you dig it, please subscribe. Hit that button right down there. When you do, hit the little notification bell. You can follow me on Twitter at AudiophiliacMan, on Instagram at Steve.Guttenberg, on Patreon at P A T R E O N dot com slash Audiophiliac. What else can I tell you? Oh, there's music reviews. There's a playlist for music reviews. Um, there's a playlist for headphone reviews and speaker reviews and electronics reviews. Playlists for uh, so much stuff. Interviews. Some of my favorite work on this channel are the interviews, so check those out. And now I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. And as I've said in recent episodes, be careful out there. Stay home, listen to music, uh, but when you go out and you come back, definitely wash your hands right away. See you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.